e-bikes are an extremely popular way of getting around in Shenzhen. So today I thought that I would go and have a look at some shops that were selling e-bikes and see what kind of prices you could get them for. I'm also wearing a mask today because there's been a few more cases of COVID-19 in Shenzhen and it's kind of getting a little bit freaky. You know, there's been an area of Shenzhen that's been in lockdown, quarantine. There's been some buildings that have been put into quarantine too. Come with me on my journey and I'll take you around Shenzhen looking at e-bike shops. So just behind me is a shop called New and that's actually one of the biggest scooter companies in China. So I'm going to go and have a look inside and we're going to see what kind of electric scooters they have there. So the New store is pretty good. There's a type of scooter in there called the New IQU. I think that's what it's called. It's probably one of the best scooters out there and I saw it inside the shop then for 4899. You can get a basket for it for 389 and you can get the extension that turns it into like a motorcycle for 600. So that's very interesting. So I'm going to try and find another scooter shop and see what other scooters you can get in China. Just behind me is two e-bike shops. So I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna have a look around and I'll tell you what I find. The second shop I went to, well really it was just two shops next to each other. The one I went to first, I'm not quite sure what make of scooter it was, but I think it was another popular one in China. Unfortunately, the lady, the shopkeeper working there, couldn't speak Mandarin very clearly. So even when I was asking her how much things were, I just didn't understand what she was saying because she just kind of muttered a lot. I have no idea about the second shops, but the, the shop next door to it was another new shop. And to be honest, the scooters there look really cool. I think scooters are definitely the most popular way of getting around in Shenzhen. Even a lot of foreigners will have them. Apparently, foreigners can't get license plates in China, but it doesn't seem to stop people from using them. Another interesting thing about these scooters is apparently the scooters with yellow plates, which I think are usually the larger scooters, are being banned in Shenzhen so I don't know what's gonna happen there if the police are just gonna go around picking up scooters with yellow license plates and just destroying them or what's gonna happen but if you've got a white number plate everything's fine apparently I hope you like this video please like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time goodbye